Hey Josh friends and welcome back to my podcast. It's Tria Hanta with Jess. So how are you? Kumusta man mo? I hope that you're doing fine. You're doing great. You're having a quality time with your family because last Monday wala na po trabaho because it's Labor Day. And to those people na late trabaho tong Monday, congratulations because it's double pay. You're going to earn a lot for that. Yeah, I'm just so happy. And then, but before that, before we start this episode, I would like to say thank you and hi to Ati Jonah Aladdin and Ati Ming Carbaniga for always sending me the receipts of our conversation. I really do appreciate that one. Yes, every time nga mag-post ko inspiring incentives, dilig yun na masipit na gina sila ilang mga sentiments about that topic. Yes, so thank you, thank you. I love reading your comments. Please keep your comments coming. Gusto ba ka nga makalungo ko sa kasong ilanon nga magkasi kini mo kung unsa ang nahita po ka ron? Wala ka masayop sa pagpili. Welcome sa Istoryahan Ta Podcast. Kini nga podcast na gisigot sa mga kaaki sa kinabuhi. mental health, self-development o daghan pa. Kini nga podcast at tanya kini mo sa kalibri nga pagpinulungay aron malinga o makatun ka. Pusa on sa pa'y mong yulat. Mag-istoryahan ay nata. Kumusta? This is Jess Samante, your host, and welcome to my podcast. And yes, you're still listening to Estrella Hanta with Jess. So the reason why nga ako anong gihimok kaning episode because last night, I was dumping my time on TikTok and then nakakita ko mga Uh, mga episode, mga clips about sa mga previous episodes of MMK. Yes, titled Ubas. It was ang lead actor ana is si Jenna Parino o si Ketchup Eusebio. And then ang story ana is ding rotate sa Osaka Inahan. And then grabe kina siya kasubo ka ng uh, episode. And then during the time that I was watching that on television, I was crying. And then my siblings told me that you're not an actor And then, ganun, apil-apil ka dira, gila, mura kang artista. Because sakit ka yan, ang istorya, kana siya nga particular episode, muna siya pinakapaborito na ako, kay grabe, subo, jud kay siya, kabahin ng inahan. Yes, and then also, someone sent me a question about, what's the difference between dictating and guiding? So, I would like to relate that clip, kanang MMK episode, because it's all about mother, and then my experience also about my mother. And then, Um, because my mother, mauna siya ay nag-unleash, nag-uncover kung unsa, how, giyon sa ako pag-understand ang dictating o guiding. Yes, because when I was young, I do love complaining. Yes, every Saturday and Sunday, ako ga kong mga igsoon will have to do the task arranged by mom. Weekly task. Yes, for example, today is Saturday and my scheduled task is to do the laundry and my siblings will have to do the other things like cooking, sweeping the floor, magkabuog tubig, mga hoy, ilahan ng trabaho. Yes, and then on Sunday, we'll take turns. Ako na po yung mo, ako na po yung mga hoy, ako na po yung magkabu or whatsoever. Yes, and if you missed anything, if you missed something sa kanang arranged nga task, you have to carry on your back the consequences. Kaya di yun na masipiat magyaw-yaw yun ng inahan mo. Yes, ing ana yang upbringing sa mo ah. Kung unsa yang giingon, tumana. Yes, ing ana jud siya and during that time, murag makaingon ko nga murag wala na mi kagawasan, murag wala na mi freedom, murag wala nang gikuhaan ni yung childhood nga mga moments. Why? Because every mo, every day na uh, every Saturday and Sunday, you know, mata ni mo pagkasabado ana, you have to take your breakfast. Ang lamisa na naipagkaon na nakay Milo, imnon na lang nimo, mukaon na lang ka even ang imong pinggan na naispon ang fork, mukaon na lang ka na naisudan pod. And then after that, you have to do the scheduled task. Gi arrange na na niya so ikaw manghugas kag pinggan after mo manghugas kag pinggan manilhig kag stugkaran. And you have to do that. Yes, and then mahuman na nimo imong hang mata siguro mga before lunch and you still have few minutes or few kanang pila ka oras to rest. And then you have to Take your lunch. And then after lunch time, you have to take a nap. And then pamatun mo niya kalas tres sa hapon. And then after alas tres, anang inu kalas tres sa hapon, you have to do your afternoon tea. Yes, bang snack mo, painit mo, or whatsoever. Depending kung whatever is your favorite. Yes. And then after, uh, na, na napunay scheduled task. 
So, ikaw magkabok ang tubig dito sa sapa kay para naibubo sa tanom and then naiputang tubig para sa toilet. And then, ang mga magsuon po na ako maglungag mo ay maglutugsunan. So, ing ana na, gidesignate na ng mga uh, daily chores sa balay. Amuan na ng trabaho sa Badug Domingo. And then, pila na lang ka oras mahabilin para makadula mi. And you're not allowed to play with your friends kung wala pa ka na human sa imuhang trabaho. Ing ana ang set up sa amua. Yes, and feeling na ko, murag, it's my mom's job to dictate my life. Iyahan ang trabaho. And I feel like during that time nga, I signed a contract, an exclusive contract, and if ako ang i-breach ang contract, ang ma-terminate, or anong, you know, mapunta ko sa prisuhan, murag, mapriso ko kung akong supako na ang ako ang ipirmahan ng kontrata. Yes, so that during that time, muna akong nabatsyagan. Kaya nga anak man ka higpit sa balay. Makaingon siya ko nga, Lahi kay mis ubang bata sa una kay dapat pagka alas 5 ana na nakasulod sa balay kay dili ka pwedeng mangitngitan kay once mangitngitan ka gawa sa balay another kasaba na naman idili na imuhang mama ang mga saba imuhan na pong papa ang mga saba yes but ning labay ang pila ka tuig na realize na ko nga i was wrong yes among inahan was not dictating us She's grounding us. She's guiding us to be responsible. Because imagine ha, nag-start kong trabaho and then bulag ko sa balay. Imagine, wala ko to do isa kong inahan o mga buluhaton sa balay. Kinsa may mo trabaho, ana. Lisod po, I'm going to hire someone to do the task for me. Okay, please wash my laundry. Please cook for me. Please kanang uh, hugasi ang mga pinggan for me. Lisod po, di ba? Wala man tagi panganak na dato. So you have to do it yourself. Yes, but despite of anything, I'm grateful for my mom for not leaving us, for grounding us. Yes, because it wouldn't be possible for me when it comes to decision making without her help. Yes, so I would like to top the youth sa mga bata noon karon. Please stop complaining kung gitudluan mo sa inyong mga ginikanan o mga buluhaton sa balay. Please, please stop doing that. It's for para rapod na sa inyong kaayuhan. Yes, stop complaining anong ing anak kahigpit inyong ginikanan kay wala mo gihigpitan sa inyong ginikanan para sa inyong ika na para ma, ma how, how do you call that one? Kana gining para i para, para hindi kayo mapabuti parang ganon. Yes. Wala mo gihigpitan para rapod na sa paghigpitan mo para ra sa inyong kaayuhan. And don't try. Yes, please stop complaining. Because your mother deserves your energy. And please don't try to make excuses to avoid her attention. Taghan kay tag alibis, mga excuses. Ma, maatukog iskwilahan, bisag sa madong dako. Maatukog iskwilahan, ganami humong himoon nga project. Ma, we have to do the dance rehearsal. We have to do the, we have nami choir practice or whatsoever ang mga events ng nasa school bisag wala. Para maka-iska po ka sa imuhang, sa presensya sa imong inahan, maghimo kag mga excuses. No, stop doing that. Because your mother deserves your energy. Yes, ayaw kulata nga mag, mapuno ka sa pagmahay at the end of the day, at the end of the week, at the end of the month, at the end of the year. Because not all the time you can touch your mother, not all the time you can kiss your mother, not all the time you can hug your mother, not all the time you can say thank you to your mother, not all the time you can say, I love you, Nai. Yes, so stop making excuses para lang dili mo magkuyog sa balay. Stop doing that, please. And let me share you my insights um, about the difference between dictating and guiding. For me, dictating is about doing the things methodically correct. Yes, you're not allowed to patch your own ways on how to get it done. Yes, so in other words, you have to follow the step-by-step -step process in order for you to get that job done. So you're not allowed to explore, you're not allowed to experiment, you're not allowed to do that. Just follow kung unsa gidikta sa imo ha. Do it. And then you're good to go. While guiding is about giving you a specific task and you have the authority on how to get it done. So in that sense, you're allowed to pull out your 100% potential. You're allowed to commit mistakes. You're allowed to uh, commit mistakes and simply learn from it. You, For example, okay, please cook adobo for me or please cook humba for me. And then since you have that creativity, you have that, you know, magical ideas in your mind, you can explore. 
You can experiment with the ingredients to add fusion sa imuhang humba or sa imuhang adubo. Yes, just simply get the job done. But you're allowed to do, you're allowed to, to commit mistakes, you're allowed to explore, you're allowed. You're, okay, you, you, you're not worrying about mamasamasayup ka because naara siya guiding you. Yes. So again, going back sa itong mga inahan, please express your gratitude for calling your attention every time nga makasala ka. Express gratitude nga gikorek sa imuhang ginikanan ang imuhang mga sayo. Yes, yeah, show your love, show your appreciation. Yeah, express your gratitude. Say thank you, say I love you to your parents. Yes, it matters. Yes, say it loud. Ayag hulata ang panahon nga mag-post na lang kag status sa imuhang Facebook. Showing your love, your appreciation, how grateful you are sa imuhang ginikanan. Pero ulahin na ang tanan because... They're gone forever. Moabot ragyud ang panahon nga muuna na na sila nato. So, right now, you can still touch your parents. You can still hug your parents. Do it. So, again, I hope that you learned something from this episode. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to see you real soon. And if you do have something on your mind, you can send me your questions, your sentiments about this topic. You can search me on my social media, Jessa Monte, sa tanang social media platforms. Please do follow me. Yes, 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 yes. Because I love reading your comments. Please keep your comments coming. And if you do have a personal question, you can send me a message on my Facebook page. Yes, because it was, uh, my um, Facebook page is linked na siya sa akong WhatsApp. So you can send me a message there. I love reading your messages. So keep your messages coming. Yes, so thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next page. Bye-bye. You don't have to worry about where to spend your special events with your family and friends. Azrich Private Resort in Darwin is excited to be in service with you. Azrich Private Resort is giving you a place to feel united and a place to share memories you can never forget. APR Events is looking for an individual who wants to use their place and be remembered by everyone who comes. Save your events now. For more information, please visit facebook.com slash Private Residences and Resort.